Okay, watch, take the match. And boom, your match is restored into the pack. And the coin is magically What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today, my daughter Ava and I are showing you 10 magic tricks with matches. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for us and let's go. Okay, this one is the magic levitating match trick. Let's check it out. All right, Ava, so we've got the two matches balanced like that. We're gonna take another match. Just light them up. Watch. <laughs> cool, huh? Okay, here's how it's done. So you're gonna take a little book of matches like this and you're going to take one of your matches and kind of just poke a hole in the match book just like so. Then your next step is to balance another match on top of that. Now very simple, there's like no secret to it. You just light the matches and this kind of automatically happens. They kind of fuse together because of the fire, and this one begins to lift up. Super cool. And that is how you do the magic levitating match trick. Okay, this one is the classic relighting match trick. Here's a performance of what it looks like. All right, pick one of the uh, burnt matches out of the ashtray there. Okay, so Ava, have you ever seen a match burn twice? No. No? So I got my burnt match here, Ava. Check it out, watch. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> you ever seen a match burn three times? No. <laughs> Get it like it burns you, like uh, burns the, okay. Okay, here's your secret setup. You're going to take a black marker and simply color in the head of the match. Now it is pretty much impossible to tell the difference between a real struck match and your gimmicked one. And that is how you do the magic relighting match trick. Okay, this one is a classic magic trick that you can do at the dinner table. My dad actually always used to do this trick. Here's a performance of what it looks like. Okay, here's what you'll need. A glass, matches or a toothpick, two forks. You can also do it with a fork and a spoon. So here is your first step. You're going to weave these forks together like that. And you're just going to slide a match in between the tines. You're then gonna come right over to your glass and set the match on the edge. Balance it on the edge of the glass and then you can light the match. It will burn all the way down and the rim of the glass will actually stop the match from burning. And that is how you do the impossible balancing forks trick. Okay, this one is the invisible cigarette trick. Take a look. Okay, here's the secret. Very simple, when you light the match, you're going to inhale. Obviously, I have to preface this by saying I cannot endorse that you do this at home. And here's what you do. When you light the match, you're actually inhaling the fumes that come off of it up your nose, and that is what is allowing you to breathe out the vapor. So when I light the match,
just very slightly breathing the little fumes that come off the match through my nose and then exhaling it through my mouth. So when the match lights, see that little bit of smoke that comes off? It's gonna capture a little bit of that. One more time to demonstrate. So you can use that for a lot of different effects. I think it's cool to act like you're like rolling up a fake cigarette and then lighting it. Don't smoke. And that is how you do the magic match smoke trick. This one you're gonna take a coin and a box of matches and watch. Show your audience the coin, take it into your hand, give it a rub, and make it disappear. Show your empty match box, close it up, give it a shake, and the coin is magically inside the matchbox. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. First things first, you're gonna need two identical quarters. Then we're going to set up our matchbox. You're gonna do that by taking the quarter and sliding it into the lid so that you have the quarter tucked between the top of the matchbox and the top of the match tray so that when you close the matchbox and put your finger on the back it pushes the quarter into the matchbox automatically then all you have to do is open the matchbox show the quarter and everybody's amazed so once you have your matchbox set up you're going to present your other quarter to your audience and here's a simple coin vanish that you can do while seated at a table. Hold your arm out right over the edge of the table and place the coin on your hand. As you bring your other hand over the front to pick up the coin, you're actually going to sweep the coin off your arm and into your lap in the motion of making it look like you pick it up. Once you've done that, just drop your arm down, show the coin here, rub it for effect, make it look like it disappears, come right over to your matchbox, show it empty, and then reveal the coin inside. And that is how you do the magic coin to the matchbox trick. Okay, this one is the magic candle smoke trick. Let's check it out. So you're gonna take a match, light it, and light your candle. And then you're gonna blow it out. Light a match. Boom. And the flame actually magically travels down the smoke and relights the candle. Let's try it one more time. So the explanation to this is actually really simple. When you blow out the candle, the smoke coming off of it is actually flammable itself. That's why the flame is able to travel down the smoke. The smoke is actually smoke is actually flammable, which means it can catch on fire. So all you do is blow out the candle. The smoke starts to come right up off it. You got to make sure it's a nice thin stream so that the uh, the flame can travel down it. Boom. Certain candles work better than others. Practice it. Have fun with it. See how far away you can get it to work. And that is how you do the magic candle smoke trick. Okay, for this one, my friend Zach is going to demonstrate the classic magic trick of eating a lit match. Check it out. So what's the secret behind that? Let the flame die down before you do it. If you do it while the flame's still big, you will burn your mouth. So let that flame calm down a second, put it in your mouth, seal your lips around it. When you seal your lips around the match, it cuts the oxygen. So flames need oxygen to keep burning. It's a supply, food source. So sealing that off kills the flame. And that is how you eat a lit match. Okay, this one is a cool trick you can do where you light a match by flicking it across the room. Check it out. So the explanation for this is pretty self-explanatory. You just line the match up right on the top of the box like this. You want the strike on box matches. Put the head of the match on the box, your finger goes on top, and then just flick it. Simple and easy. And that is how you do the match flick trick. Okay, this one is the magic disappearing match trick. Let's check it out. Okay, watch, take the match. It just disappears right like that. Grab it right back too. Okay, here's 
the secret. Okay, this is a simple impromptu trick that you can do with paper matches. When I say paper matches, I mean these thin book matches like these and not your thicker uh, kitchen matches like these. These thin paper ones are what you can do this trick with. Your first step is to get the back of your thumb wet with a little bit of spit. And then you are very simply just going to stick the match right there on your thumb. It's just gonna stick in place. And then all you're gonna do is say, watch. I'm gonna make the match disappear, but all you do is just turn your thumb up. The match disappears. And then to make it come back, you just reverse the process. So you're here and then boom, disappears, comes back. Disappears, comes back. And use the rest of your hands to accentuate the disappearing. And that is how you do the magic disappearing match trick. Okay, for this one, we're gonna take a book of matches, remove one, light it, blow it out, and then we're going to take it and do something really cool. We're gonna put it back in the matchbook with just a rub right there. And look, it's magically restored into the matchbook. You can hand this out, they can inspect it, they can pull on that match, it really is attached. Rip it off. Okay, here's the secret. The first part of your setup involves an old trick of lighting a match while it's still inside a matchbook. The old trick goes something like you bet somebody that you can light a match while it's still inside a book of matches, and then you do this. Fold a match down and right around to the strike pad just like that. Strike it with your thumb. Let it burn for a moment and blow it out. Your next step is to fold the match back down into the pack, like so, close it up, and you're prepped to go. Now all you have to do is reach in, pull out a different match, light it, let it burn down to about the same spot as the other one and put it out. And then all you're gonna do here is a simple ditch move. You're going to take this match and get rid of it because you're going to make this match look like the one in the package. So we're gonna do that by just taking it and palming it into our hand here. We're gonna palm it into our hand while we're making it look like we're pressing it onto the book of matches. And then once we have it palmed in our hand here, we're going to ditch that into our pocket or onto the ground. Show it in the book of matches, give it a little magical rub, and boom, your match is restored into the pack. They can tear it out, feel that it was actually restored, actually attached, and that is how you do the magic burnt and restored match trick. Alright guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all these matches. I'm kidding, I'm actually giving away matching sets of Laugh at Life sunglasses and Laugh at Life wristbands. The red matches the red, the black matches the black, you get the idea. I'm giving away five matching sets to five lucky comments in the comment section below. So leave some positive comments on this video. Unlimited comments, you can leave as many comments as you want, I will pick five comments from the comment section and I will send you your very own Laugh at Life sunglasses and bracelet. Both of these items will be available for you to get in the Evan Era TV shop. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for us. Be sure to share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can be the first to watch new videos as soon as we upload them. Until next time, you can click up here in the corner to watch more How To Magic content. The Laugh at Life Evan Era TV shop is launching October 1st, 2016. Stay tuned to the channel for the announcement. There will be an epic giveaway attached to the video, so stay tuned. Also guys, be sure to click here and check out the behind the scenes on our vlog channel. That is our second channel on YouTube. Go subscribe to Evan Era Vlogs as well. A lot of fun behind the scenes videos, cool travel vlogs, much, much more on that channel. Alright guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners of these street magic tricks are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Thank you for coming back to Evan Era TV where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.